Hey guys, it's Amanda from Supermodel Mama, and tonight I just wanted to talk to you about something that I'm going to be doing soon, and that's sleeping. Um, sleep starts and ends with the circadian cycle, and by textbook definition, the circadian cycle is a natural physiological cycle of approximately 24 hours that occurs even in the absence of external reminders. Well, what does this mean? Um, it means that our bodies are naturally in sync with the rise and the fall of the sun. Even if you live in Alaska or, you know, some other place that doesn't get nighttime some nights. Some months in Alaska, you just have daylight all the time. Um, what that means is that our body is, even without external reminders, such as the sun rising and setting like we're used to, our bodies naturally know how to go into the cycle called the circadian cycle. Um, sun is a huge factor, and again, it relates back to the rise and the fall of the sun. In the morning between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m., our cortisol levels peak. And cortisol is an activating hormone. Um, these levels with the sunset, um, they decrease. And with the decrease of cortisol, releases the increase of melatonin. And melatonin is also a um, growth repair factor. And melatonin is naturally something that our body naturally produces that naturally induces sleep. So it's normal come sunset uh, or dusk to feel tired and, you know, you want to get in your PJs and get all comfy and just relax because your body's supposed to do that. That's what it's supposed to do. Um, I'm just reviewing my notes here so I don't miss anything important, but... So what does this mean? Well, it means that we have to respect the natural circadian rhythms that are, or circadian cycles that our body is meant to do. We have to respect that. That's nature. That's our body's way of telling us, hey self, you're tired. Go to bed. You know, it, even without an external reminder, like the sun setting, your body just knows when it's tired. That's pretty cool. Our bodies are really cool. Um, some things that can cause a disruption of the sleep-wake cycle are, like I'm doing right now, sitting in front of a computer or watching TV. Um, our brain associates any light, like from a computer or a TV or a nightlight even, as daylight. And during daylight, our body produces cortisol. And we don't want that to happen at night, you know. We're supposed to be producing melatonin. We're supposed to be sleeping. Uh, we're supposed to be rejuvenating, rejuvenating our bodies. That's why we go to sleep. Our muscles need it. Our brains need it. Our cells need it. Everything needs it. Um, this is especially important in women because we already have enough cycles as it is. If we disrupt another one, you know, all hell's going to break loose. God forbid. But, um, when we are exposed to light at nighttime, it um, affects our, our body's ability to release the um, growth and repair hormones. Sorry, I'm again referencing my notes so I don't forget anything important. Um, when we expose our bodies to light at nighttime and our growth and repair hormones are inhibited, this leads to many problems. And God forbid, I hope none of you have to go through this, but infertility, that's a huge one. I know so many people that struggle with it, and it's just heartbreaking because now I know this isn't the case for everybody, every person out there, but, you know, sometimes it is un unavoidable, and just people don't have the right tools and the missing piece to make it all connect, and that's really why I'm here, is to try to help you guys connect those pieces. Um exposing our body to light at nighttime also leads to a compromised immune system. It leads to a huge one, adrenal fatigue. Um, our adrenal glands sit on top of our kidneys and they produce cortisol and many other hormones, cortisol being the most important. Um, prolonged light and stress exposure puts stress on our adrenal glands and that leads to adrenal fatigue. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm referencing my notes again. Um, when our adrenal glands are fatigued, we will see a huge decrease in energy, a huge 
you know, weight gain for some people. If you're not getting enough sleep and your body's stressed out and you're gaining all this weight, you have to take a step back and say, whoa, wait a, wait a minute, what, why is this happening? And you just have to pick it apart piece by piece. And that's, I think, why some people get so frustrated and just give up because it is a lot of work and it's hard for some people, but it's completely possible and I'm here to make it easy on you guys any way that I can. Um, okay, and I'm just going to give you some tips on how to avoid this problem. Well, one thing is to get to bed by 10 p.m. Between the hours of 10 p.m. and 1 a.m., our bodies are going through a um, growth and repair. Our bodies are releasing growth and repair hormones. So if you're a new mom like I was, um, my child never slept, like ever. Um, I never got to bed by 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. And I was always awake in the middle of the night. So my body was just garbage when she was little. Um, another thing, don't sleep with the lights on. I know, you know, in the case of having a newborn, that's kind of like unavoidable and you just have to go through the process of figuring it out, so to say, because every new mom goes through it. But if you have, you know, studies, you're up all night writing a paper. Like, I just graduated in November with a bachelor's degree in um, science, and I was up all night typing papers all the time and just woke up the next day garbage. And I was like, God, what's going on? And, you know, I really got turned on to this health thing from my fiancé, and I was like, oh, it all makes sense that all the missing pieces – he was my missing piece, and he helped me figure out these things in my life, and it literally changed my life so much that that is why I'm doing these YouTube videos. I'm doing them to truly help and inspire everybody from the bottom of my heart because I know it's not easy, but with my help, it's possible. So take advantage of my help because I'm more than willing to do anything that I can to help you guys. So. Another thing that you can do to avoid this is to be in tune with your body. Listen to it, you know. I know um, some of you are younger and you like to go out and party and hang out. And I did that too. I never got to bed at a decent time when I was in high school. I probably never did. But um, it's important even when you're young to realize these things because they're only going to help you in the long run. They're only going to make you physically and emotionally and um, mentally more stable. And the cool thing is it's like a snowball effect. So, you know, if you're 17 years old and, yeah, you're hanging out with your friends, but, oh, man, come 10 a.m. or 10 p.m., oh, you're getting kind of sleepy. It's your body's natural way of telling you go to sleep. And it's okay. Go to sleep. You're not really going to miss out on anything, you know. Just a couple, like, keg stands or parties or fights or whatever happens. I used to do all that stuff. I remember that. So um, be a role model. Set the bar for your friends. You know, show them, hey, um, even though you guys are all partying, sorry, crashing out here because I'm super tired and my body's screaming at me to go to sleep. So you listen to it. And, you know, it might take your friends by surprise, but. I'm sure you'll get to a couple of them and they'll start doing the same thing. And like I said, snowball effect. It just takes one person to get it going. And, and I hope I'm the one person that starts it because I really, really, um, even though I don't know you guys, I really truly care about you and I really truly care about helping you succeed this body image or lifestyle change that you're so um, desiring. And I really hope, hope that this video helps just give you just one piece of the insight that you need to eventually in the long run reach your ultimate goal. Okay, let me just get back to my notes here. Um, this is totally a lifestyle change. Now, this is not something that's going to, oh, you get one night of rest and you're in bed by 9.30 and lights out by 10 and you get a full, you know, seven, six, seven, eight hours of sleep. One night's not going to cut it. You have to be dedicated. This is a lifestyle change. Um, and it's not always easy for some people, but it's completely possible. So you just have to want it bad enough to put your all into it. 
and you know you might say oh well my husband or my boyfriend likes to eat unhealthy well that's okay be a leader be a role model set the bar for them just be like okay I see you're eating your bag of Cheetos whatnot that's cool but I'm eating my carrot sticks you know and hey those Cheetos look pretty good but you know in your mind and in your heart that that Cheeto is just going to your butt cheek. <laughs> it's not going to do anything beneficial to your body. So um, that's kind of just where where this video is going to end, I guess. Um, sleep, very important. You need it. You need to be in tune with your body. Go to bed with the lights off. Try to get sleep and be asleep by 10 p.m. if you can. Um, and yeah, you know, if you're really on board with this, it's lifestyle changes. And like I said, it wasn't easy for me, but with the help of my fiance, we, I have achieved this body image of myself that not only I love, but I feel good about. And that's what it's all about. You just have to love yourself. And it's a work in progress. Trust me, every day, I'm still learning how to love myself. But um, all it takes is one person, and that one person was my fiancé. And for me, I hope that one person, or if for you, I hope that one person is me because it's a pay-it-forward kind of thing. I want to help you guys. So I hope you're open to it, and I hope I wasn't blabbing too much. But um, I just have a lot to say, and I know I don't know hardly any of you guys, but um, – I would truly care about you and this is completely possible if you hold my hand I'll hold yours and we can do this together so really absorb what I said um, I'm not really I'm not here to make anybody feel guilty about you know what they eat or, or what they don't do I'm just truly here to give you the knowledge and the puzzle pieces that you need to connect it all together and we can do it one person at a time we can do this so Thank you guys so much for listening to me blab for now going on 12 minutes. Um, I hope you had a great Valentine's Day and just remember to love yourself.